Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> Alright, so I said I was going to do something with that water, didn't I? Well, why was I going to put it on this Goron mask? That was dumb. I don't even want to swap them anywhere. So this is now filled with hot spring water, but it's going to cool after a certain amount of time. So we've got to get a move on. <laughs> I'll show you something that we can use it on right back over here, for instance. So we are going... Oh, you, you, n n no, you're not the Great Darmani, are you? Mm -hmm. Then just whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? Um, yes, that's that's exactly how it happened. Can't I speak with you again? It used to be a hot spring bowling... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so if he has hot spring water, he can freeze out the brother. And voila, just get close enough so that the range of the hot spring water will melt it, basically. Oh, what have I been doing? Oh, are you alright, brother? You were frozen, but the great Darmani saved you. The great Darmani? What's with you? Are you half asleep? Did you hear this guy? The great Darmani died long ago in his lo- Dying in his- Darmani! <laughs> I'm shocked too, but someone seems the great Darmani isn't dead. <laughs> really? With this, a star of hope appears in Goron Village. Great Darmani, please do something about the blizzard blowing in from Snowhead. Alright, let's see what we can do about that. But first, we're going to need more water, probably, for the, for the future. Maybe, might be. It, it'll just make things easier if we do this, just to unlock something. Remember that ice in that bridged area between the village and over here? We are going to use this water to pop that sucker open because there's another hot spring underneath there which is a closer hot spring for various things that we'll be coming across let's just put it that one okay okay let's just climb out of here oh still a little bit chilly and no this water is not for that guy up there <laughs> that, that, we need to get him rock sirloin yeah, it, it's complicated, I guess, I guess you could say. He just wants food, not something to warm up. Oh shoot, I took the wrong the wrong path. Ah, I wanted to go to the place behind that house. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know why I went that way just yet. Because that is not a place that I can do something at. So let's plop on over here. By the way, this uses magic power really quickly, but you can probably get magic power by blasting the boulders along your way like I was doing there. Uh, but I, anyway, I just want to get to that thing quick enough, if you don't mind. There we go, and I'll even take off this mask in case I freeze myself by mistake because of the large hitbox. I should have probably did that on the other upper area, but that is okay. Alright, now I created a sort of kind of checkpoint of sorts, I guess you could say. Uh, because down here, as I said, there is another area of hot spring water. And you can also get some sticks and stuff here, too. So it's it's like a sort of kind of refill area of sorts as well. Um, as long as I'm here, I might as well check these boulders, because why not? Let's just see if uh, there's anything hidden over there, and as long as you don't dunk the bombs too deep in the water, they will not extinguish. So let's see if I destroyed all the boulders, and maybe see what they might be hiding underneath. Ah, that one was not hiding anything with the <laughs> lens of truth. Interesting. Well, I got a red rupee, and now I filled my wallet up completely, which means I can get that bomb bag upgrade. And I don't need any more hot spring water right now, so I'm gonna keep my bottle free. Okay, so I was correct in my calculations that I'd be able to get up to 200 rupees by the time I was ready to get that bomb bag, which is nice. So now let's go over to the village. Oh, and by the way, in that other room, you might have noticed that there is a treasure chest. Well, it's under the frozen ice. I mean, I should say the frozen water. Water frozen is ice. Ice frozen is still ice. <laughs> so discriminatory scrub business over here. Now we'll have something for us. Uh, do visit the Goron clientele, and that sir makes you a customer. Right now, I've got a special trading offer for just for you. I'll give you my biggest bomb bag, regularly priced at a thousand rupees. In return, you'll give me your big bomb bag and just two hundred rupees. So this is the best bomb bag in the game, just like I got the largest quiver in the um 
and I was doing those shooting mini games by beating both of them. So we have maxed out our bombs. Heck yeah! Now, for this village here, you can now break those just with a Goron Punch, by the way. So if you wanted to, you could potentially get... Hello there. You could potentially get your... These things are really awkward to fight when you're a Goron, by the way. Yeah, you probably don't want to be a Goron while fighting them. <laughs> so if you want to get your magic power back up, you can kind of roll around over here. By the way, did you notice that there is a difference on the floor there? Like, there's a, there's a difference in slipperiness there. And that's... That's important for you to be able to charge up that spiky roll attack. Oh, I ran out of magic. Well, whatever. <laughs> I don't need the I don't need this right now anyway. It's just a thing of that I wanted to say, hey, yeah, you can. You got you got the power to roll into stuff to get your magic power back up, maybe. If you, if you get the drops. But I didn't get the drops. But I also can use this to get up slopes. Like this one right here. Oh, look at that. We somehow got a lot more traction than the boots. <laughs> I'm not sure how that works, but that's how it works. And now this guy's gonna have something else to say. Because we look like that other guy. You're Dharmani. <laughs> oh, you're alive? I would like to enter the Gohan Shrine. Then I'll open the door with the Gohan Palm. I'm going to close it right away so it doesn't get cold inside. So hurry up and get in. Are you ready? And... He opens the door, and we got to get in there really quick, and I mean really quick. The door's already open. I'm going to close it right away, so hurry up. So jump down, turn around, oh, camera, 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 turn, go in, and see how slowly it was closing, and there's a baby crying, and it's really annoying. Everyone is annoyed. Viewers will be annoyed. I'm already annoyed. Ugh, Goron's so annoyed. It's just, it's just a terrible situation for all. Alright, let's chat with the Gorons. The store is having trouble getting power because of the coal. Things are kind of expensive now, so you shouldn't shop here. <laughs> um, well, let's see what they have to sell anyway. Goron shop. How's it going? Huh? Welcome. <laughs> this is the least enthusiastic he can possibly be. So uh, let's see what he has to say. I can't get product stock in this coal. It's a real problem. So bombs, kind of pricey. Arrows, pretty pricey. Potion, also pretty pricey. We don't need any of that though, so we can get out of here. And this place looks pretty cool, by the way. It's got some crystally formations going on in the wall there. Got like a river rafting tour going on down there. There is actually, uh, at least, well, maybe that's not. I was going to say it looked like it was a raft. Eh, no, it's just another rock. Never mind, not a rafting tour. You can also see that there's a a nice rock collection going on over here. Yes. Yes, they are like Mod Pie. <laughs> Only certain people are going to get that joke. Alright, let's go up here. Yeah, oh, I should say, he's like Mod Pie, excuse me. Anyway, let's break these pots for kicks. Maybe I'll be able to get some more magic. I did get magic. That fills up a lot of your magic. And, uh, I never spoke with you, did I? Uh, you're supposed to be dead. Is that crying getting to me that it has my eyes playing tricks on me? Maybe. This keeps up or I'm really go crazy. And you'll get different different dialogue if you talk to them with Link too. But I'm not sure if I really want to go through all this considering the crying baby. <laughs> the go on, I'll ask her that you died. Was that a lie? Whatever the case may be, welcome back. So does that incessant crying sound familiar to you? The Goron Elder's son won't stop crying. So, uh, I'll show you what I mean, different dialing. I wish someone would do something. Ugh, I can feel a pound in the back of my head. Hey you. Hey you, yeah you. You look like you're doing fine despite all this noise. Not really. I can feel it in my gut. It's not going in my empty stomach. Ugh. And it just keeps going on infinitely. You may also pick up those rocks and potentially get goodies from them as well, just by going and then going and then they might drop something too, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's move on up here where there be other Gorons. In fact, the majority of the Gorons are up here. Um, so yeah. Oh, uh, it's getting louder. Oh, Arceus. Please just... I, I, I know I'm trying to show all the stuff around here, but good lord. Oh, this is the room of the Gohan tribe's elder. Do you have some kind of business with the elder? 
Unfortunately, he's out. Since the Elder is gone, his son won't stop crying. I wish someone would do something. Alright, different dialogue. I might as well. No sideburns. Aren't you Darmani? You're supposed to be dead, but you're alive. What have you been doing? Thinking you were dead, the Elder went to Snowhead on his own. But for now, please go see the other son. Hurry! Alright, time. Uh, here it is. Oh, Darmani, you're alive. This is wonderful, but there's no time for catching up. If there's something isn't done right now about that crying. Look at this. The torch is about middle has gone out. Oh, again with that terrible crying. Oh, oh, indeed. Those sideburns. Aren't you about Darmani? It's supposed to be dead, but you're alive. The elder was troubled because he thought you were dead. I'm troubled too. The elder went to snow and doesn't come back, so he said his son is so lonely he won't stop crying. So basically, every, like, everyone's hinting that I'm, I should be looking for the Goron Elder. Got it? And it just keeps getting cold outside. Even if it's in here, it is so cold that we could freeze. Alright, different dialogue for these two. We're at our wit's end. The Elder went to Snowhead and da 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 da. Basically the same thing. Yeah, okay. Oh, good lord. Oh, I can feel it pulling in the back of my head. And you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to knock down these blocks. I'd like to knock down these... How the heck are these play blocks staying up? That is incredible. Alright, let's talk to the sun. I quieted. Don't you... Oh, the daddy, the daddy. Oh, I'm cold, daddy. And he is... The baby's the only one that's really wearing clothes, isn't it? Oh, oh Darmani, who's my daddy? Who's my daddy? No. No. Say something to human me to keep quiet. Daddy, oh, I'm cold, daddy. Okay, I'm out of here. So basically, you need to get some stuff going here. You need to speak to the kid, basically, more than anything, to get stuff going. And for some reason, that carpet is slippery. Remember that for a side quest in the future. I'm just gonna kind of sneak on over here and uh, go on back outside, because I can't take anymore. <laughs> All right, so now we got to be looking for that elder. Now, remember I got that hot spring water, got, got that all set up and raring to go. Well, the reason why is because the Elder can appear at three different spots. Let's just put it that way. And the, the Elder is completely encased in ice. Now, he, it also changes from day to day. I would like you to explain this one to me. Like, does he thaw and then, and then pop out at some point in time, and then he walks to the next location, and then he freezes? Maybe? I'm not sure, but what I do know is, he's underneath one of these boulders. Oh, this might be the one, because there's, there's, there's a certain cursor. There he is! And now, we can go up here as a Goron, I do believe. Yes, we can. And we can hop down here as a Goron as well. So, yeah, I, that Elder, I don't understand how he can appear at a different location every day when he's frozen solid with seemingly no hope of moving at any time of the day anywhere. So, now, anyway, now that you know the powers of melting, we need the hot spring water to go back over there. To be able to thaw him out, and that he will be the only one uh, that isn't un. Oh wait, I guess he does. Oh, I guess I was wrong. I thought that he was going to be the only one that didn't become re-encased in snow, but I was wrong about that. All right, let's go and unfreeze him. Hopefully, I'm close enough in range here. I think I am. Yes, baby. All right, now he's going to continue on his trek. Sorta. <laughs> huh? What was I doing? Uh, oh, sorry, this late. I must hurry. And here he goes at high speed, baby. Yeah, look at him go. Go, baby, go. Go, baby. Okay, I should probably just. Maybe I can do something. Huh? Oh, you're Darmani. But you're supposed to be dead. Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of Snowhead's magic power. Hmm, I've been made a fool of, but that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. If you can see past the illusion, you'll vanish in an instant. What? My son is crying because he misses me. Why do you know that? 
No, I kind of invest. In, I mean, I, I didn't. I didn't throw open the personal matters at all. I'm. I'm sorry. My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Darmani, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with the song I am about to play on my drum. It is the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. And... Listen. I should say, pay attention to the notes. Huh? Replay it once more. Hmm. Um. Ah, oh, yes, like this. This is how it went. Ah, oh, it's no good. I can only remember the beginning. I'll just teach you the beginning. So you repeat A, right, left. A, right, left. Got it? Good. A, right, left. A, right, left. So there we go. I was off timing before, but whatever. It's the lullaby intro. This is not the full song, by the way. But we will be getting the full song soon enough. You learn the lullaby intro, the soothing melody of a thoughtful father. It's not that I forgot it, it's just so cold I can't play very well. Sure. At any rate, I'm counting on you. So he'll continue his trek on there, and when we leave the transition screen, he'll be frozen again, so there's nothing, <laughs> nothing else we can do for him. But go back over to the village and play that intro for his son. You know, why can't I open this door with ground pound myself? It, why do I have to talk to you? I mean, I, ah, never mind. Maybe it's like a certain wavelength of ground pound. <laughs> anyway, let's go and rock our way up over here, because we can do so relatively quickly as a Goron. This is probably the fastest way to travel anywhere. But uh, you can't do it as a Goron. I mean, you can't do it as a human. So you gotta be as a Goron to do this next portion, got it? Good. I don't know why I bothered to take off the mask to show you that, but it is what I did. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I did that too quick, I'm sorry. My hands, they're not working in sync right now. I would totally suck at rhythm games. Yeah. That song, that's a song Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. So I'll save the next part. Oh, wow. His singing voice is amazing. <laughs> and that is the full song. So now we play it in full. You notice that those last couple of notes were just like an inverse. Going in reverse after that note right there. At the peak. Yep. That's the Goron Lullaby. And the spirit of the chili daddy is with us. But, well, he's not really with with us, so he's just he's frozen again. But don't tell the kid that. Hmm, <laughs> it's just like daddy's right beside me. Yes! 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 No more crying! <sighs> lullaby intro became the Goron Lullaby. This lullaby blankets listeners in calm while making eyelids grow heavy. And everyone falls asleep. It's a good time. Ah, so the Gorons fall asleep to hear the Goron Lullaby. That's convenient. Yeah, that's that's actually Tattle talking here. <laughs> Where's he? Where did I, there's the other one. I was, my body was my body was in the way. But all right. So now that we learned the new song, we have sort of kind of reached checkpoints of sorts. But I'm not gonna save until I reach another owl statue. This is nice. 
the elder son has finally stopped crying. Now we can sleep too. Thank Arceus indeed. Ah, uh, uh, let's speak to everyone. Now that we can do that without baby crying. Wow, the crying stopped. But there's still something wrong with my eyes. He's supposed to be dead. Yet I see Darmani standing right before my own eyes. It is you. Yep. You can, you can have the food I hid in the chandelier up there. So please, just die in peace. Um, why would you hide food in the chandelier, and why, why would you think that would put Darmani and Pete? Never mind. Yeah, that food is for a different side quest. It has to do with that Goron that's up on the mountain that was hungry. But as I said, I'm gonna do that all at once with that frog side quest. So I'm gonna save that for later. It's Darmani. You were always good at calling the elder son. Now, the next thing we have to do is something about torch lights in this room. Yeah, you gotta light those first before you can do stuff. Yeah, again, I'm gonna do that later on when I do that side quest. Just just give it time. I assure you I'll get to it. I'm, this is 100%. <laughs> the store is having trouble getting in here. Oh, you're not gonna give any different dialogue despite the, the kid stop screaming? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... What is the point of the song? Well, let's go in that place that I accidentally went to before, next to that mountain cat. Well, I should say across from that mountain cabin. Okay? Okay. And to do so, I can actually kind of shortcut over this way now, couldn't I? Look at that. It's just magical. By the way, you can now go up this way with your Goron powers, but we can't actually do anything about that until the spring thaw. That ain't gonna be for a while. <laughs> Alright, so... Well, I did not want to fall in that water because I bounced off track. So there's an owl statue there, as you know, but there's another owl statue coming up. And it's down this pathway. Remember, if we couldn't get across, if we didn't have the Goron jump, well, now we got the Goron jump. And we really should probably take care of that keys so I can uh, show you the ins and outs of this. <laughs> okay, so see, see these ramps? Now th this is another problem with Majora's Mask, is the controls of Goron... Yeah. We gotta do the Goron Jump! And in order to do the Goron Jump, we've gotta build up speed. Now, it's never very clear as to where you can build up speed. You can only build up speed at those slippery spots like that, that I was talking about. But other times, you just kind of go forward at other spots like this. Like, did you see me just, like, go forward normally? Oh, see, that's a slippery spot. Slippery spot. Slippery spot. Also a slippery spot. Oh, oh, a regular spot. Oh, oh, there's a regular spot. See, you can't really tell where there's a slippery spot and where there isn't. And that's kind of a problem with this, especially when you're trying to figure out a puzzle as to where you need to use this to jump across them. But, in this case, you kind of only have one choice. You've got to use this, and it's kind of teaching you about the slippery spots here. And when you're in the air, you cannot change direction, so you better have yourself angled just right as you're going across these jumps. And by the way, um, there is a heart piece all the way across there that we cannot get until later on. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. Well, actually, hold on a sec. Maybe we can get this now. Hold on, I just want to see... Um, yeah, I don't think we can get this now, because I think we need the powers of a Scarecrow to- wait, maybe not, hold on, hold on. Uh, yep, we do, okay, so, yeah, we cannot get across that without the powers of a Scarecrow. So that's gonna have to wait. <laughs> now, for get oops, for getting across, find another slippery spot, charge up, you do move forward slightly, so you still need some room. And, oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't build up enough speed. Oh, man. That's... Oh, they put me all the way back here. Are you serious? Uh, oh, that was close. So you cannot move while you're in top speed here, but definitely break the snow to try and get magic containers. All right, we made it across. Ah! Ah, this is Snowhead. This way to Snowhead Temple. Please contact the Goron Elder if you have any information on the whereabouts of the Temple Guard. Huh. Temple Guard? Where where could the Temple Guard have gone to? I mean, 
the temple guard has always got to be guarding the temple, right? So maybe maybe he went over somewhere. Well, let's just let's just go on up here. Here's Snowhead. Yeah, it's just called Snowhead, but that sign says Snowhead Temple. I, I guess it's like a slight oversight. I don't know. <laughs> so you see this? You see this gust of wind seemingly coming out of nowhere? Let me just go check this here. High winds ahead. Gusts and snow flurries make blow careless travelers off the cliffs. I'll break that apart, and I will also break the. Oh, what's that? There's something in the middle of that blizzard. Can't you see it? No, I don't see anything. There's a fairy over here, by the way. There always seems to be a fairy before a, du a dungeon. But if you turn on the power of the lens of truth, there's the guard. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of having issues here because of the cold, and uh, you cannot approach that because his breath is so strong it'll blow you back. So that's where the guard is going on with, and uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a problem because we can't reach the temple. But what we can do is, uh, yeah, turn on this owl statue and end off the part here and then explain it in the next part. How do you like those apples, huh? 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 Well, basically, I want to start the dungeon in the next part, that's why. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I begin the Temple of Doom. Oh, Arceus. It's gonna be nasty, because I'm gonna have to deal with the Goron controls. <laughs>